Okay, I'm going to show you how to put rings on a piston. We just got this new V-twin kit here and there. Okay, you got it. And show you how to put rings on here. So these are new fitted cylinders. Okay, see how they already got fingerprints on them? See the outside that's marking on the On this side. Somebody already put their fingers in there like that. Is that you? Mm -hmm. Good. It's got clearance. Good. Very important, that clearance. These are new Hastings rings. They're in plastic now. We only got two bags. Ooh, they mixed them. Pop, oil. Is there a second ring somewhere? Bring more rings in there? Ooh, there's the ring. There's the ring. One, and two again. Oh, there's a the second ring. If you put both of those on the piston, it wouldn't work very well. Those the top rings. Second ring. Two different oil rings. So you got expanders. Rails, four of them. Second ring, here's second. Second ring should have a dot on it someplace. Right there, see the dot. Second rings have a back cut on them easily. Angle cut. Top rings have no dots, no, no back cuts. You look at them to the side, they're square cut here in the view, they're square cut. Second rings, they have a back cut, see the other angle cut there. Oh, guilty. Alright, camera rails down. Okay, we're going to check to see the uh, ring gap. Uh oh, somebody screwed the cylinder over here. Who did that? That's it. Somebody just turned it. All right. Oh, it's in my way on the counter. Okay, so take your ring, stick it in a hole, rotate around, use your piston if it's flat top, go down to set number. Flush works good. Pull it up, look at your ring out. If you can put your thumbnail in there, it's good. So your thumbnail goes in there, that thickness is perfect. Okay, that was, too, that was too far down the cell, it's hard to get to. So you see how you put it in, you squeeze the ring up this way a little bit, push it in, push with your two fingers evenly there so you don't warp the ring. Put that in, drop it down to a square, pull it back up, push the gap. Put your fingernail in there again, see? See the gapping tool? Gap tool, works good. So you come up on the back side, pull up too, and do that. So, boom, and boom, boom. There's your gap. Put your tool in there. Yep, good. So you pull on the back side like that. Ring comes straight up. No binding, no twisting, no warping. If the rings are twisted, they don't seal. So make sure they stay flat. Okay, see the gap? I can see it when you have to go any further. Okay, these you don't have to worry about. Now your top rings, second rings, whichever one these are. This looks like a top ring. So you squeeze them a little bit like this as you go down. Then you go down, push evenly on the end so they don't warp the ring. You go like this. You got to fit the half square in the hole, so square the piston up. Well, look at your gap. There's your gap. Thumbnail goes in there. Perfect. Go on the back side. Use a couple fingers because it's got tension on these things. Pull up. Now, if you squeeze them a little bit as you come up, you don't put scratch in the cylinders. The scratches don't do anything, but they look like crap. The customers sometimes don't like it. See the scratches in there we're leaving? Because there's birds up here on the edge of the ring. So, squeeze them a little bit this way. Always keep the ring flat as you can. Then go down deep enough. So go a little bit deeper. 
See, now it goes in the cylinder now, so wedge it in like that. So you don't want to stress the rings anymore than you have to. Okay, gap's fine. Back around over here. Oh, you can hear it. See if I push a little tension on there, it squeezes it in a little better. See, I'm a one arm bandit again today. Do everything with my left hand right now. There's your gap. It's a little tight. Definitely thumbnail doesn't want, want to go in there. So that one's pretty tight. Probably enough, but it's tight. But see, I don't have a real good checking gauge right now, but so I can't tell you how thin that really is, but it's definitely thinner than the other stuff was. So is this top ring or second ring? It just feels like a second ring. Should be a dot over here someplace. Yeah, There is the dot. So they got the second ring tighter than the top ring. That's the opposite of how it should be. You always want your second ring to be the same or bigger than the top ring. And it's not. That's because when the pressure blows by this top ring, the blow by, if you don't have equal amounts of blow by past this ring, then this ring will pressurize and it will unseal and it will leak. The top ring is supposed to be doing all the work for sealing. The second ring is a scraper ring. That's why it's made differently. It's got to cut at different angles. <clears throat> okay, so this one here, our second ring, is a little on a tight side. Now you can run it that way. Wrong one. So it'll work. There's a gap in there. You gotta have at least 15 or 16 minimum. Theoretically, you run as low as 12, but it's best to have more than less. Okay, this one here was good. Yep. Okay, I mixed up my rings, so I gotta recheck them. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. That one's good. Those are the tops. How can those be tops? This is the other one. That one's good. We only got one tight one. That doesn't make sense. Why would one be made wrong? Just double check all of them right in. You're missing all the good stuff. Say you do this? Huh? Say you do that? Squeeze and put them in. Mm -hmm. Rotate around. Be below that cylinder edge. Take your piston. Just in there at an angle. Square it up. See how it's square in the O-ring? Pull it up. See the gap? Put your, put your nail in there. You got a checking tool there, don't you? So go in there? Yeah. Okay, it's got gap. So this one here is a little snug for some reason. Yep. A little more clearance now, but it's a little tight. A little bit tighter than the other one. See how thin it is? Yeah. Does your fingernail fit in there? No. Tight. So, do anything to it? so this one's a little bit tighter than those other three over there. So you got a file? Mm -hmm. Why not? No tools. No tools? Yeah. I don't have any tools either. I'm in the parts department. No tools up here. I don't have any garage. I'm a driveway mechanic. Driveway mechanic. Okay, the nail's starting to go in there now. On the minimum. So where's your file? I need a file. Got a file? I got one. I need to take out a couple thou. A couple of thou. A couple of thou. Where's your fingernail file? Got a file? Well, how you got your fingernails? You broke all your fingernails off. You have no file. Hmm. Pocket knife? Scrape on it? Yeah, it doesn't work either. You got a file? Maybe. Not here. Downstairs? Maybe downstairs in the machine shop, yeah. <laughs> Not up here though. Okay, that won't file a little bit. It's runnable the way it is, but we'll open it up a little bit because it is the second ring. If that was a top ring, I'd run it, no problem. Second ring, I'd rather have a little bit looser than top ring. Okay, so that one goes off to the side.
Don't mix that up. There you go, don't lose that again. Very important, don't drop that. Okay, piston. What's that for? Oh, the puller? It's pointing in that pocket. Why is, that, why is it pointing in that pocket? To what, to the front of the bike? Pointing the tire? To go that front way? Room? The front room? Go to the front? Yeah. Okay. You sure? What's that? It's a it. Looks like a casting problem. Okay, so that goes forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the intake pocket. Got to read the instructions. What do the instructions say? No instructions. They didn't give me no instructions? How are you supposed to know what to do? There are no instructions. Oh my god, there's no instructions. Alright, you're on your own. <laughs> if in doubt, put the arrow forward. Can't go wrong if you go forward. If you went backwards, maybe you'd be wrong. Now, there might be an offset in the wrist pin, that's why the difference, front to rear. Mm -hmm. Because the bow pockets are the same, so that's mm -hmm. not the difference. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at that piston, does it look like it's closer on this side than this side? Yeah. So that piston's offset. Because it looks like it is a little closer on this side than this side. Mm -hmm. So it's got an offset wrist pin, I mean it's forward. They moved it forward a little bit. So we we'll moved it backwards in this case because the arrow goes that way. So they put the rod over here, which makes the rod a little bit more angle on it before it goes down. So they're doing that to make slap, take slap out of your motor. Okay. So this is an offset wrist pin. That's why there's an arrow. It's only a real reason to put an arrow on there, unless it's a different valve pocket or some other stupid thing. But so is it back or the front piston? Arrows always point forward the direction you ride the bike. Mm -hmm. Now if you ride the bike backwards, then you could probably do it backwards. No, I mean, but uh, is it is it front cylinder or the rear cylinder? Uh, it's this one. There's no front or rear. It's just Evo. Oh. So it doesn't matter. I mean, if it matter on the piston, it would say right here, front, rear. Okay. So, all right. So that's why you gotta do that. There you go again. Okay. So now ring gaps. See, there's a gap right there. Mm -hmm. I don't like gaps on the thrust faces, and I don't like them on the pin size. So that means the gaps have to go in your 45, on your 90 degree areas here. Mm -hmm. 90 degrees apart from each other are on the 45s of the piston. So you get like an axe going this way. So you put the gap over there. Just like this. Here you put a ring on, you put it like that. You go like this. So you do that. What you don't want to do is wrap it. Which is where you go like this. Go like that. That's bad. On these piston rings right here, that makes it into a big spring, so it has to compress before it seals. So the pressure takes and time it takes for that spring to compress down flat from cylinder pressure, it's leaking past. So it causes oil control and blow-by problems. So your piston rings need to be flat. So you want to make sure the gaps are pointing to each other, not twisted off sideways, and make sure that someone didn't bend the ring like this, and like that, and bend it for you. Make sure it's flat. So if you got a flat table, go like this on it and make sure it's flat. See how it's mm -hmm. pretty flat, even this nice flat piece of wood. But see, this is a 1965 piece of wood. It's flat. See how flat that is? Okay. Now, if you have a flat top piston, you can do it on that a little bit. See, see how it doesn't move around? So, that's how you do that. Okay, we'll be back. Interruptions.